In this video, I will show you an example how can you Java CPP integrate it in Eclipse and Maven. Java CPP is a framework so that you can integrate it C or C++ source code in your Java project. You can download the source code uh, from GitHub. I have uh, added the link to GitHub and to the repository in the commentar uh, field. Let us start the Maven project. The Maven project will be added to the Eclipse when you start with new project. You select Maven project, type in uh, simple projects. Now here I type my group ID, you should type your group ID. I take this d.olson and the artifact ID is here in my case Java CPP example 2 because I have already one example. Finish and then I have a skeleton and a POM and the POM is here the interesting point with my group ID and artifact ID. Now I will move to the prepared example to the POM. This POM is much much larger. Uh, I will not go to, into the detail because it's uh, too complicated but I will mention one point. The point is here. You must change the source code to your package name. What do you want? And here is my package name, the Olsen Java CPP example. And you maybe uh, use org. It's my homepage. Dot and my example. Dot star. Also here in this line, uh, the first execution is for the parsing and the second is compiler and both of them needs the same information. Also interesting uh, we use here the CPP uh, dependency and he downloads the source code automatically. The next step what I want is to show you the Java code. The Java code is quite simple. We have here in Java class ABC, extend from pointer. The important point is that we have here an ABC CPP file. This contains the source code of the C++. Our C program use a namespace test library. And therefore we must edit the namespace as an annotation. The next point is that the ABC must uh, called allocate and we must edit a skeleton for the native call for allocate but we must not implement it the allocate routine. The only uh, routine that we want to implement it in C++ is the test method. The test method has only one parameter a and we get a uh, square root mu and multiplied by 2 is a result. And uh, we have here the main routine. The main routine is very simple. We create the ABC object. We call the test method. And this is very important. We close the ABC object. When we don't do it, then will the uh, C++ object still alive and not uh, deallocated or free, don't free the memory and we get a memory leak therefore. And this is uh, important that we are close the object. Let us see the C++ program. It's also very simple. This is a C++ object, namespace, test library, the class ABC. The constructor 
has an output constructor called the destructor has an output destructor called and the test method processing ABC with a parameter and we turn to multiplied A multiply A. That's all. So how do we build the project? We build the project uh, that we make here run as maven build and the goals we enter clean install make an apply and run then we see here everything so far okay and then we would like to start the program we go to abc java press here and he calls this program abc2 output is 8. That is so far all to integrated a Java CPP Maven in Eclipse. One point what I want to like hint you is that when we change the ABC Java cl class then for example we put here uh, not two, we enter here three. We can directly call it. Okay, save it, compiling, we get three and the output is 18. That is so far okay. When we change the number from two to three and we call our program, then we expected the result 27. Let us save it, start it, and we get here out 18. This is not correct. We have changed it. Why is it so? Yes, for the change in the Java CPP, we need a run, Maven build run. And then we can call directly here Java CPP examples. You make here an, an build run. From Maven, for Maven and then we call ABC and then we get 27 here as an output. That is all what I would like to show you. Now you have seen an example how you can use Java CPP framework within Eclipse and Maven. If you find this video interesting then I welcome you that you get me a thumb up for this video.